everybody. I am going to show you the um, what I keep in my professional kits. I'm not going to show my face because I ain't combed my hair today. And um, that's my prerogative. But anyway, I'm going to start with this. I got this kit um, a while back off eBay. I got it for a really good price. I can't remember exactly how much it cost, but it wasn't over $150. I do know that. Um, it's two parts, as you can see. This part, this part actually goes on top of that. But um, I like to carry it separately because it's so heavy. So I, um, I roll it. It has a roller on it, which comes in handy. Did you get out of that, baby? Okay. So I'm gonna show you what's in this particular kit. Okay. I did this video before, but I went too fast. So I'm slowing it down. Alrighty. Um, I keep a few different eyeshadow pal palettes in here. I keep, uh, for people who kind of want louder colors, I keep the whales in here. That, of course. And then I keep the one of the neutral palettes, which is that one. I think that's palette number one. Okay, so two of the whales palettes. I also keep a whales um I got this from my supplier a while back. Um, I was going to carry them in my store, but I decided against it. But they do come in handy for highlighting and contouring. I also have two professional palettes. That's one. Um, like if you do freelance, you want to have something to condense your case. You don't want to be carrying around like 50 different foundations. That wouldn't be fun because it would be too heavy. And then I have um, just some random louder colors in there. And here's another kit. Or right, this is my bridal. This is what I mainly put on the bride. So those are the colors. Golds and browns and you know stuff like that. And this is the other one. Are you getting that, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not the same one. They look the same, but... It's two different. One of them is red based and one of them is yellow based. I have my spatula to help keep things sanitary. You would definitely want to have one of these. I also have some similar secret palettes. They come, they're out of stock actually. Well, I get them from my out of stock and I wanted to get all of them, but those are the ones I got. Okay. I have the spatula that goes, of course, with the um, palettes. Okay. Now, for my blush and my contour and my powder. This is what I use for my powder. Um, it has several different shades. And I have a blush palette. This particular palette just covers everything that I need. You got peaches, pinks, louds, fuchsias, all that good stuff. Okay. So, I put all of that in there. And that, that's just the first case. Right here, I keep um, some concealers, NYX concealers. They're the actual the concealers in the jar, and they are some great concealers. I mean, they cover everything, five different colors. And then I have another one right here that I depotted a while ago. But those are my concealers. I have some disposable lip brushes right here, and I give those to the bridesmaids and the brides. I have a tiny spatula, as you can see. And I have a tiny set of tweezers. Over here, I have some lip stuff and some um, primers. I have some burst beads. I put that on the list before I do anything else just to start conditioning them. And right here is just a little bit of, um, I put the, what is that stuff called? Monistat Shaping Gel. That's what's in here. I use that as a primer. This right here is um, actual just regular cocoa butter. Put that on the lips as well. These are primers. Um, cake mascara. And it's, act it's water activated. So that comes to hand. Is you don't have to dip anything into it. You just take your disposable wand, douse it with water, and rub it across. And of course you don't do that with the same one. You want to go to a different one. So that's that. Okay. Now inside here, I have... This is my eye, my little eye pouch. I have liners, um, eyelash curler. Are my knees in the shot? Huh? But now, okay. 
Right here I have eyeliners, eyelash curlers, mascara. This is just everything dealing with the dealing with the eyes. Um, I have some disposable razors. Right here is my lipstick. Um, as you notice, I have a lot of peaches and corals and reds and pinks in there. Of course, that's for brides as well. I keep sponges in this little thing right here. Keep them out the way. I can just get to them when I need to. And right here, these are some lip pencils. Yeah. And those are some NYX lip pencils. They are very good pencils. I got um, a lot of them, as you can tell. It's about 26 of them in there. But I, that just pretty much covers everything that I need. I have some other different brands in, the, in there, but they're in the bottom, so you can't really see them. But that's um, NYX lip pencils. And I wanted to do this because, you know, a lot of people do videos showing their kids that all they have is Mac, Mac, Mac. And, you know, um... I don't want you to be a one trick pony. I just I don't want you to have just one brand in your kit. You should have several different brands, several different things can you know work for you, not just one. So don't get stuck on name brands. Because you you know you shortchange yourself when you do that. So I just want to show that you know it's a variety, it's a lot of, you know, it's some high price stuff in here and it's some very cheap stuff in here. Um what matters to me is that it works. So as long as it works for me, you know, I'm good. Okay, down here, I have bronzers, some different blushes, um, just regular little face stuff, nothing special. Remember that CCO, um, it's an outlet store. If you go in there, you'll notice that you can find a lot of stuff, like, for little or nothing. I think I got this one for $14, and that's pretty cheap. So, when I'm dealing with clients, I will use MAC. You know, like I told you, I don't have anything against MAC. You know, Mac, they're, they're good, but as far as my everyday use, I don't use it. Because I can I find that I can do what I need to do with less of brands. I don't have to spend all that, you know, money on Mac. So, we're done with this case. Move this out the way. And this does have rollers on it. Take the lid off. Okay. And this is all... My basic skincare, um, what I keep in here. I keep some wipes. Right here, I have tons of eyelashes, all different kinds. Just, you know, random. Never have too many eyelashes. Um, cotton swabs, and these are the good ones. They don't fall apart like the regular ones. They're actually pretty tough. So, those right there. Pointed Q-tips. You're going to need those. I have some wipes right here for my brushes. Over here, I have a silicone. Um, it's like a line filler. So that's what that is. I have foundation thinner. Alcohol, 99% alcohol, which is a must-have. This is setting powder. I mean, setting um, finishing spray for makeup. You do this after airbrush, and it just won't move, period. A little mix of medium, and I only keep a little bit because I make my own batches. I have some eye cream. Um, this foundation, not foundation, this moisturizer I use for mature skin. Like people have like really, really dry skin. This has a bit more um, slick to it. And this right here um, is Cetaphil. And anybody knows about Cetaphil. It's dermatologically um, tested and... <laughs> Dermatologically, so no, okay. Wait a minute, just stop. Okay, this right here is <laughs> is recommended by dermatologists. How about that shit? Okay, and down here, I have some airbrush foundations. I only use cat because I like cat. You use what works for you. You know, you don't have to do what I do. Right here, I have some makeup remover. I have some um, no color setting powder. Witch Hazel and 99% alcohol. Disposables. Lots of them. Disposable wands. Disposable spatulas. Lip wands. Just everything. A whole bunch of disposables. So 
I keep those down in there. Gotta have disposable. I'm not gonna pull it out um, because it's heavy. So that right there goes to the side. And then I have my brush roll, which is where I keep my brushes. I try to brushes and I try to arrange my brushes in here on how I do makeup. Like I'll start with the lower lid and those are those brushes. Then I start with the crease. Let me go with the crease. Those are crease brushes. And then right here we have highlight brushes, um, eyeliner brushes, then you have eyebrow, you know, smoothers and all of that. Lip brushes, concealer brushes, just random stuff. So that's my brush roll. Okay, look down here, baby. Okay, and right here is my, I have a cape down in the bottom, my airbrush um, machine, the gun, and the compressor. And that's pretty much it. So that is my kits in a nutshell. So, if you have any questions, if there's anything you need to know, wondering about, whatever the case may be, just send me an email or you can put the questions down at the bottom and I'll try to get to them ASAP. But that's it. So, thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good one. Tell Dwayne thank you for holding the camera. Thank you, Dwayne.